Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Star Stable. I'm back. It's been a little bit because my game was not working. Every time I hit play on the launcher, it would close and crash out. And I had to have somebody look at my computer. We got it up and running again, but it is not perfect at all. I think we're going to have to do like a whole reinstall of my computer. It's been a mess. So <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to play. And now I am. I was running to Jarlaheim and I saw this quest on my map and I was like, hmm, let me stop here. Where am I? I've never been to this area of the map and there's a gentleman here named Angus who needs my help, apparently. What's up, Angus? How's it going? <laughs> but before we get started, um, a couple of questions I want to address. Number one, you cannot send mail across regions. So <laughs> if you are in North America, you can send me mail. If you are in uh, Europe, if you are in Asia, Australia, South America, etc., etc., you cannot send me mail, <laughs> unfortunately. Your mail is going to someone else. <laughs> and also, the same goes for uh, transferring your character. I am not able to transfer to servers outside of North America because characters and like the world is reset by region. So I wouldn't be able to move to Europe because there's already a Cadence Winter Pie there. She's the one getting all your mail. <laughs> and also I can't visit um, Firestar in Australia. I can only visit the North American servers. A few people have offered to make me accounts in different areas, but that's not something I'm looking to do right now because I just don't have the time. I have enough uh, accounts to manage right now. So maybe in the future, but yeah. So North American servers only for now. Sorry guys, at least you can watch on Twitch. It's been a blast streaming on Twitch, I can say that. Anyway, let's get to the game because I have missed it. So, Angus, mm -hmm. sir. Oh, it's the Isold quest. Remember with the Tristan and Isold? Uh, okay. Now I have to try and remember what was going on. Something about chickens and... I don't know. If his old was out last night and stole chickens from the Sunfield farm, what? <laughs> what? What are you saying? Outside in the dead of night, despite her mother and I have strictly forbidden it, and she's stolen chickens? Have I nurtured a thief by my bosom? She's grounded till she's a hundred years old, just she wait. What? You were just wondering? She's not a thief? What are you doing? You come to my estate and accuse my daughter of being a chicken thief? Get lost. I haven't noticed anything. I sleep like a log during the night. Don't ever come claiming my daughter is a thief ever again. Do that and you'll never be welcome here again. Whoa, dude. She might be a thief. We're not sure yet. Idun? Idun? Was it you who made my husband so agitated just now? Don't mind him. He is known for his short fuse. What did you ask him? You said Isolde is a chicken thief? Are you out of your mind? You were lucky. You probably caught him so off guard that he didn't really get what you said. If he'd been more alert, both you and your horse would have been left faster than you can spell bottle cap. If you have to ask stupid questions, you should have come to me first. Remember that. Don't speak to Angus about anything that might agitate him. Of course this old hasn't stolen any chickens. She always does what we tell her, and we have strictly forbidden her to be out at night and ever visiting that Sunfield farm ever again. That boy Loki and her is not, are not to fraternize, and that's that. Why she can't see Loki? The boy is bad news, a horrible influence. Have, how I know? My son Tristan has told me about him. He always skips work, steals stuff, lies, and is unpleasant towards his parents. A person like that is not to socialize with my daughter. If I'm sure, shouldn't I trust my own son? Tristan tell lies? How dare you? Oh god, these people are gonna kill me. Okay, I'll calm down. You don't know us, so you don't quite understand what you're claiming about us. I believe we've reached a point where words alone is insufficient for building confidence between us. If you want our help, you'll have to help us. We don't want- they, they get so mad at me for making these accusations that quite possibly could be true. He was very willing to believe it. And now they want me to do work for them? I don't know. I guess we'll do it. We'll see how it goes. Is this the garden I'm weeding? No. This one, I guess. Oh, 
That must be a weed. Looks like a really big thistle. Two thistles. We'll just give them to Eeyore when we're done. This is a huge field. Last one, thank goodness. Let's go back to those mean people. Okay lady, cleared out your field. So all the weeds are gone now? Good. If I understand you correctly, some chickens have been stolen from the Sunfield farm last night. Why do you think Isolde is one, it's the one who did it? Her button was found on the ground next to the chicken coop? That was odd. She would never do such a thing, but I guess we'll have to get to the bottom of this. Just don't agitate Angus again. I don't think Isolde is the culprit, but hmm, maybe the twins know something about this button. They start to giggle every time I get near and tell me they have a secret about a soul they don't want to share. I've asked them, but they just run away. Ch I think that's supposed to be choking. I think it's just chalking right now with giggles. If you can get the secret out of them, you might learn something that can explain all of this. All right, I love the little kids in Star Stable. They're so adorable, look at them. Oh, his name is Hannibal. Oh. Hannibal! I love your TV show. Wait, come back. Wait! <laughs> come. Ah. Yes, okay. Who are you? Cadence, Cadence, na 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 na. Do you want to play hide and seek? It's the best game ever. Huh? You want to know our secret? What secret? About Isold? Nah, we know something you don't know, but we won't tell you. We promise not to tell mom and dad. You're not mom and dad? Oh, that's true. Okay. If you want to know, you'll have to find us first. Count to 100 before you start looking. No cheating. You'll never find us. Oh no. I'm gonna lose these people's small children. 100. Yay! <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 100. Here I come. Oh, there's my horse. Oh gosh. Hello? Small children? This is lit up. What's in here? Oh gosh. I don't want to be in here. It looks scary. Oh, I'll just fall. Oh, oh, I fell out of the building. It's not like it's easy to maneuver in here. Oh, I guess that's just out. Okay. Well, are there any kids up here? Hello, any kids? There's a box. Maybe we have to come up here for something later. Okay, let's just leave. Adios. <laughs> That's so weird. It's warm. Oh, I'm warm. I'm near them. Oh, it's getting cold again. It's warm. Hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Red hot. Um, oh, there he is. How do I? Oh, we'll go around. I mean, this is getting warmer because we have to go all the way around. I'm not getting cold. I'm getting warmer because stuck on some oats. Warm. I see him. <laughs> oh, creepy child laughter. Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Has anyone seen a small child named Hannibal? Oh, I'm warm. There he is. I found him. Oops. 
extra excited that I found him. I found him, he's in the sunflowers. Oh, come on, horse. Come on. There he is. Son, you're too far from home. <laughs> You found us so quickly, we never thought you'd make it. Want to play more? No. Tell you what we saw last night? It's a secret. We saw her. Who? It's sold, of course. She climbed out of her bedroom window last night. She does it a lot. <laughs> we promised not to tell mom and dad. But you're not mom and dad, so that makes it all right. Where her bedroom is? Over there, by the other house. Come back if you want to play more. You were such fun. Bye bye, lemon pie. Winter pie, kid, get it right. Man. Wait, what is that? What is, what is questions? Questions, questions. Questions. The Riddler was here. What is this? It looks like fresh boot marks in the flower bed. It leaves both to and from the window as if someone jumped out it. Was gone for a while. Look, you can't tell if they were gone for a while. And then returned. The tracks are deep. Whoever made them might still have soil underneath their boots. Important clue. Important clue. No, no. So let's see if you are any smart. Prove it was me who stole those chickens. You weren't home last night. Nobody saw me. Uh, that is, since I wasn't out. Um, the twins saw you. The twins are lying. Who would ever believe them? Tracks below the window. What? Boot marks in the flower bed? My boots have soil on them and are the correct size? Okay! I was out last night, but it's no crime being out late at night. You were at Sunfield Farm. Oh no, how did we... Why do you think I have? Freya told me. Ah! I messed it up. Do I have to go to Sunfield Farm again? You weren't home last night. The twins saw you. There were tracks below your window. I knew it. You were at Sunfield Farm. Jacob saw you coming back. Why do you think I have? Martina told me. Ugh. Oh, there's some quests over here. Here's the pet lady. Mm -hmm. Amelia. Hi there, are you Cadence? Cool, so awesome that you came by. I'm Amelia and I work here at Pet Shop Girls. I see to it that all the cute animals are comfortable and have everything they need. I'm usually very busy with our webpage and web shop, so I'm looking for someone to help me take care of the shaggy little furballs. You seem like a fun girl. I'm sure we'll be good friends as well. By the way, you have a beautiful horse. Is it a Burma? Or hold on, that's a cat. Truth be told, I know nothing about horses. I just know they're fun to ride, but nothing else. So I think you'll have to teach me a thing or two about horses. I also assume me mixing horses with toasters. Not that toasters and horses look alike at all, but oh well. Your horse is called Danger Nova, you say? That's a nice name. I would never be able to think of such a cool name for my dog. Suffice to say, his name is Ern Ernst. Hee <laughs> hee. Very interesting character. I'm a woman. So, here's the thing. I need some help around the store, and I would also love to get to know you a little better while we're at it. Sounds like a good idea? Perfect. Let's get going. I need to ask you a favor, Cadence. A woman came by and bought all of our cats. We don't have any left. She must really love cats, and I'm sure the lovely little kitties will be super in love with the thought of living with her. However, my store is so silent and lifeless now that all those lovely little fur balls have gone, so I need to get my hands on some new cats to snuggle. I know the pet shop in Fort Pinta has loads of kittens. They hardly have room for all of them, and apparently the situation is dire, which is perfect for me because now I can bring some of them here. The security guard in Fort Pinta is helping find new homes for them, and he is more than willing to let me take them. He thinks it's heartbreaking to see all those cats sit on top of each other because of the lack of space. I know it's a bit far, but it would really help 
it would really be of great help if you could go there and get those cats for me. I can hardly wait for them to arrive. All right, we'll go get some cats. Quick shout out to Myra Wolf Girl and Abby Rivercake of the Pink Strawberries. Such a fun name and super nice girls. It was nice to meet you. And another quick shout out today to the ladies in the group, Daisy Silver Watcher of Glitter Ponies, Jamie Winterstone of the Red Strawberries, Samantha High Dawn, Sword Agents, Dakota Cloudheart, Alpha Foles Army, and Bella Pony Tree of Lucky Flowers, and who's this down here? Charlotte Sky Valley. I missed her group <laughs> club. <laughs> Uh, electric ponies there we go all right thank you for chatting everybody it was nice it was fun and i will see you all again soon okay security guard man where are the kittens hmm. pardon cats to amelia I've been ordered to hand out a delivery of recruits to a certain commander, Amelia. I understand she has authorized you to pick them up here in Fort Pinta. They've been nice comrades, so it'll be sad to see them go. <laughs> but orders are orders. Oh, it's sad. Attention! I hereby leave the command of the recruits, also called the kittens, to you, Cadence. I wish you good luck and hope the journey back to Yarlheim goes well. Oh, look at them all in there. Kittens get- oh, two. There's two. Two kittens. Hello to Isabella Waterweb on Frostfire. Nice to meet you. We have your kittens! Hooray! Would you look at that? Such cute kittens. They're simply irresistible. Almost so much I'd want to keep them all myself. But my home would probably be a bit crowded. It's true. Mm -hmm. The rabbit food has started to run out and the poor things are starting to get hungry. Someone needs to get more food for them as soon as possible. By someone, you mean me. Philip in the Sunland Sunfield Farms makes his own rabbit food. It's a new hobby he has started doing. Hopefully also because he w owns his own rabbits, wants his own rabbits to benefit from the best food they can get. It's so cute that he's so anxious about his own animals. He's simply a true friend of them. If at any point you're in need of tips and hints about animal care, just pay Philip a visit. I'm sure he'll be glad to help. In any case, fetch a sack of Philip's best rabbit food and bring it afterwards to me. He's awaiting you at Sunfield Farm. Let's see if we can jump this. Ready? Yeah! Hey! Hi again, Cadence. Good to see you. I heard you were coming to get some rabbit food for the pet shop in Yarlaheim. We collaborate from time to time. I give Amelia food for the animals while she helps out on the farm. We need that from time to time, as you already know. Some people on the farm can be a bit lazy. Mm. Here's a sack of yummy food for those rabbits. <laughs> Made from the best homegrown produce, this food will make the rabbits go crazy with happiness. The sack is a bit heavy, but you should do just fine. Give Amelia my regards. Not heavy enough that we have to put it on the back of the horse, though. Here you are, Amelia. Rabbit hey, food. The rabbit food is so happy. The dog food has run out as well. Oh, the dogs can be a, a bit rowdy when hungry, so we better get the food before they find my own food supply and eat that instead. Travel to my sister, Johanna, who takes care of your big stables. It's good to have a sister that one can buy cheap dog fruit from. It's nice to know so many different people around here so that they can help out with things. Johanna has... That's the lady that we were doing the open house week with that I did not get to finish. The game wasn't working, but it's alright. Leap! There she is. Hungry That's dogs. Hi there, I take it you're here to get dog food for Amelia. I thought as much. You're always there for people when they need you. My sister is very happy you've helped her this much. It's appreciated. She's had so much to do lately, in addition to helping Philippe with his animals, sometimes too. Poor thing barely has time for herself these days. Hopefully, it helps a lot having you around. I hope so too. 
The sack of dog food is somewhere on the farm. Find it and bring it afterwards to Amelia. Say hi to her for me. Oh gosh, we have to go looking for it? Dog food. Oh, I found it. Oh. <laughs> Good thing that fence was broken because I just went on through. Oh. Thought we found it. Nope. Still searching. Searching for dog food. Searching for dog food. Not the most glamorous job. Erp. Burk. Nothing of interest. Aha. I see it. This better be it. I think this is the last one. Alright. Sack fulfilled. I mean, and a friendly hello to Molly Starheart of Moontide, Kate Mountainstar of the Bronze Eagles, and April Wolfbell of the Helpful Hearts. It's nice to meet you, ladies. I'm a mom. Thank you. Now I have lots of dog food, though it'll run out quick enough. You can safely say those dogs are greedy. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for joining me today. We started helping out Amelia. We'll finish next time. I guess some of the animals will just have to wait. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and sticking with me and not being too upset while I couldn't film, but more will be coming and you can always check on Star Stables YouTube for my Star Stable with Stacy episodes every Saturday. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys again soon. Have fun and be kind to each other. Bye.